I'm a wife, a mother, and a dentist. I practice in Walnut Creek, California. And as a dentist, we're always very preventive oriented. And so I would lecture my patients and teach them about gum disease. If you have periodontal disease, that means you're vulnerable to heart disease, hardening of the arteries, pancreatic cancer, adult onset diabetes, delayed fertility is the newest one, up to a year, male or female. And I started saying these and one day my mind went, oh, wait a second. These are all things that are caused by food-related incidents or malnutrition or not eating correctly. And because of that, I started, I, I began to realize that I needed to teach my patients more than just how to brush and floss their teeth. I needed to teach my patients that nutrition is very important in all aspects of health. One thing that I had the opportunity to see was the movie Forks Over Knives. And Colin Campbell, um, became my hero. Uh, I, I got the book Forks Over, I mean I got the book The China Study and I thought it was going to be really hard to read and so I said well I'll just go to a chapter of interest. My nephew has type 1 diabetes. I'm going to read this one chapter and I could not put the book down. I, I, I work full time. I'm a mother. You know I don't have time to read but I could not put that book down and you know I learned wait a minute, they know the cause of type 1 diabetes. Why isn't the word getting out about something like this? So I, I read his book and then I learned about Rip Esselstyn and the E2 diet. And in the references, Dr. McDougall was, he was referred to. And I know that Dean Ornish is also very local. He's in San Francisco. And I decided to connect with Dr. McDougall because he's local to me. And I need to connect with someone so that I can be a part of the grassroots effort to spread the idea of plant-based nutrition to, to everyone. And so I got Dr. McDougall's book, The Starch Solution. I subscribe to his newsletter. I get his newsletter in my email all the time. And when I read his book, that is where I realized that we don't really have very much time to get the word out. We have depleted our planet so drastically um, that it's going to take a huge amount to stop or reverse the problem. And so um, he, he really gave me the courage to realize that I actually need to take bigger measures to get the word out. When you eat this way, you can eat all you want and fill yourself up all you want and you can't be fat. And I, I did want to trim down, you know, I was, I've never been really overweight or anything, but I had this standard myself for myself that I wanted to, to be just a little bit more trim. And I dropped 13 pounds within maybe six months and I was right you know, where I wanted to be. I was really, really happy. And then something I didn't really notice happened. I looked at my driver's license and the picture was taken, I think probably about uh, 14 years ago. And it doesn't even look like me. I look so different now. Yeah, and people come up to me and say, you look so young. How, how could you have a 31 year old son? You know, so anyway. How, how I came to come to this weekend, the advanced study weekend, was getting Dr. McDougall's newsletters, you always know what's going on. And when I saw the list of heroes coming to this weekend, I said, I said, I have to go. I have to be in the same room with these people that risked their careers. They risked everything that they have to get the truth out to us about health and nutrition. So I just, I had to come and be here with all these people. So from this weekend and having a shot in the arm of just the, the best information that you can have, what it does is it gives me the tool to, tools to communicate with my patients or communicate with anyone that might be interested in being more healthy. And it gives me the confidence behind things that I say. So when somebody asks me questions, I can give them a, 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 a very confident answer. Um, so with that increased confidence that I have, I feel that I'll be able to get the message out you know, 
better to people because honestly, people do think you're kind of nuts. One last thought, the benefit about coming to the Advanced Study Weekend is that you can connect with people like-minded and that alone just really gets you feeling very big. I had the benefit of sitting next to people that live right in my neighborhood and 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 it's a husband and wife team. The husband attended the McDougal program, lost 70 pounds, and, and she did a family heirloom cookbook of all of her family's recipes, and then she adapted them to plant-based whole food. And, and so I, I, uh, I, well, I have to back up a little bit because about four months ago, five months ago, my son, he's 28, 28, his best friend coded on the basketball court right in San Francisco, and they had to defibrillate him three times to revive him. And um, luckily, he got care quick enough, and they had a defibrillator there. They saved his life. They had to put three stents in because he's about six foot eight, and it was quite a blow to our reality, someone so young could be affected so adversely. And I said, it's time for me to get off my butt and do plant-based potluck dinners once a month. So I've started doing that at my home and I just invite whoever might be interested and I've been cooking for them all. I'm hoping that people will learn how to cook and bring stuff so that it's more potluck and not so much work. But for now, I put in the work because of John because of what happened to him and how preventable it is. And so these guys are going to come to my potluck and then my other friends that we came, you know, we came to the seminar together, they're going to be coming to my potluck and bringing food. So I just feel there's more support for what I'm trying to do. And so when you come to one, one of these advanced studies, it's just wonderful to outreach.